a script competition, a filmmaker conference, Valerie from Family Ties, and the world premiere of a Titanic sized movie made right here in Pittsburgh. Holy cow. Yeah, we are so excited to hear more about that film. And we have the lead producer and screenwriter of Unsinkable here with us, Brian Hartman, and from Film Pittsburgh Executive Director Catherine Spitz Cohen. First, Catherine, let's talk to you about this, this one week film festival because this is really more than just movies. There, there's more to it than that. It's it's like a glimpse into filmmaking, right? Well, we have Three Rivers for the first week and then Pittsburgh Shorts for the last weekend. Wow. And that's where you get the filmmaker conference and all these filmmakers visiting Pittsburgh. It's very exciting. Including Justine Bateman, Mallory including, from Family Talks. Yes, Which yeah. including yeah. Justine Bateman. She's going to talk about AI. Oh, which is very really, timely. Very yeah. timely. Mm -hmm. Brian, yeah. talk to us about Unsinkable because this is a long time coming. I, I know that we were talking about this years ago. Yes. As it was just coming to light that this was going to be made here in Pittsburgh. Yeah, what's the uh, essentially the uh, story about the Senate investigation into the sinking of Titanic and yeah. all the political interference and, um, you know, it's sort of a, uh, it's a political sort of courtroom drama slash thriller with, uh, but also a morality tale about the, um, you know the survivors and the and the victims of the of the tragedy. So and there are flashback scenes in yeah. it. So like you know it's going on during Congress in these hearings, right? Yes. But you flash back to what was happening on the boat in the water, all yeah. of that, right? Yes. Yeah, so, so essentially, it's a um, it's more of a uh, for the senator, the lead character in the film who led the investigation, um, he has a very clinical approach to. You know, determining what went wrong, who should be held accountable, uh, how to compensate the victims and such. But through his journey, and we show that through a series of uh, flashbacks, it becomes more about the the personal struggles, the you know, the human tragedy of it all, and it sort of changes the trajectory of it. So, well, congratulations! I Thank know it's you. Been a long time coming. World premiere is tomorrow, which is so cool. But Catherine, tell us about what else we expect to see. Absolutely. I just want to say though, I'd never previewed a film or watched a film where I knew so many people in it, mm -hmm. and it was is so it it, fun. It was so fun. It's yeah. so exciting to see. Oh, I know that part. Right. Oh, I've I seen swear, that. Because there are Pittsburghers in it. Right. Yeah. So many. Larry Richard, I was asking because I, I remember him talking about his experience. So it's just, it, there's a lot of familiar faces. Yes. Yeah. And we are sold out on our website in terms of pre-sales, but please come um, to the, uh, the Playhouse for opening night as we do have a wait list and, and we will try to get as many people in as we can. Well, let's talk about um, the, um, the holdovers. Yes. Um, right? Well, the holdovers is our other opening night film. And um, I, I'm excited about it. Uh, Paul Giamatti is yeah. stars in it. Um, but I wanted to talk about some of the other films that you might not have seen advertised on television yeah. every 30 seconds. Okay, yeah, um, go ahead. So, Oh Pioneer is a documentary that we're playing at the Lindsay Theater in Swickley. It's a beautiful, poetic film about modern day pioneers from Appalachia. So um, I highly recommend it. It's beautiful, well done, filmmaker Q&A afterwards. We also have a documentary about Karen Carpenter. Oh and it really? Is so incredibly poignant. I learned so much about her childhood, her relationship with her brother, her relationship with her, her parents, and of course, her beautiful singing is throughout. Um, yeah, and such an amazing, haunting voice, really. Beautiful. And just yeah. lastly, uh, Black Barbie, a documentary. We've heard so much buzz, obviously, about the Barbie movie, but this is another story. It's so incredible. I, I mean, this story, the filmmaker's aunt was one of the first black um, employees at Mattel. Wow. And she said to her bosses, like she had access to her boxes, right. and she said, well, why not make a Barbie that looks like me? And so it's right. that whole story. Right. Um, one quick plug for our closing night film, Hard Miles, written and uh, produced by a Mount Lebanon native. They're all coming. It stars Matthew Modine, fantastic. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, name amazing. drop right at the end. It's going to be amazing. Congrats to both of you. Yeah, Looking thank you so much. To all of this. Thank you. The Three Rivers Film Festival begins tomorrow, runs through November 15th. The 22 films being shown at the Pittsburgh Playhouse, the Harris Theater, the Lindsay Theater, and the Waterworks Cinema. Yeah, and as part of Light Up Night on Saturday, November 18th, Film Festival. Pittsburgh is offering a free block of family friendly short films at the Harris Theater. And we have details on our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com.